All right, let's go outside right now. 30 degrees, it really hits you when you step outside. You feel Ashley called it yesterday. Mm -hmm. She said this is going to be a cold one, and boy, it is. It certainly is. Chief Meteorologist Ashley Brown joining us now with more on what we can expect this evening. Ashley? It feels like 17 right now. Yeah. That's not a day that, that I like, no. right? Nope. No. Uh, but it gets better as we head into the weekend. We're talking 40s on Saturday. And get this, you know, I'm expecting rain on Sunday, but it's pretty late. I think we'll get to around 50 on Sunday before that Ooh. rain even moves in. Nice. So, okay. Yeah, we're, oh, we're living the dream. Are, people are be out yeah. and about. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so as we look outside today, it's a cold one for us, right? We've seen cloud cover at times. We've had a little sunshine. It depends on which camera you look at and which neighborhood you're in on how much sunshine you have at the moment. But hey, we had times today where we were mostly sunny. We had times where we were mostly cloudy and we're still kind of tracking a system that brings this kind of influx of moisture that brings clouds our way at times. So sunset. Not as beautiful as last night, but tomorrow, sunrise and sunset will be absolutely gorgeous. Today, we made it to 30. We struggled today. You know, we spent most of the day in the 20s. We just made it to around 30 degrees, uh, really in the last hour, 27 for you in Kokomo, 31. But, you know, sometimes you look at this number, 30 degrees, and it means absolutely nothing. The reason it means nothing is because the wind is gusting, and it makes it feel like it's 19 right now for Indianapolis. It feels like it's 17 in Lafayette. It currently feels like 16 in Kokomo. So... A cold one for us tonight, and it only gets colder hour by hour. It's one of those nights where temperatures will fall off rather slowly, but still falling, right? By 7 p.m. down to 27 degrees. That's the actual air temperature. You know, overnight temperatures fall to the low 20s. Tomorrow morning, you'll wake up to temperatures in the teens. Now, 22 by 11 o'clock tonight. You'll notice a little cloud cover. I want to take you hour by hour through your day on your Friday. So Friday morning, you wake up to a nice mix of sun and clouds, right? Beautiful sunshine throughout the day. Temperatures, they try to warm up, but you know, we're still struggling here just a little bit with this very cold air mass that we have in place. Warmer conditions expected tomorrow than what you experienced today. So that's the good news and more sunshine as well. 35 degrees tomorrow afternoon. Temperatures will begin to fall off once again tomorrow night as we'll expect a cold night. But you know, every day really starts to get better here as we move forward. Temperature trend for you on Friday. We'll start the morning with temperatures in the teens. Cold. It will feel like the single digits. By afternoon, 35 degrees, mostly sunny skies will remain dry for the day because high pressure is still in control of our weather. So dry conditions. The evening hours gets chilly again as temperatures fall back down to the 20s. All right, so let's talk about the weekend. I'm excited about Saturday. My pick of the week, we should be in the low 40s. We'll make it to the mid to upper 40s, mostly sunny skies. Just a good day to get outside and enjoy. Now, Saturday's fantastic, but Sunday looks pretty good as well. As we look at the chance for precipitation here, um, Sunday's chance fairly low because the reason why is that Sunday is dry for much of the day. It's not until Sunday after about 9, 10 p.m. that we start to see the chance of isolated showers slide into the state. And Monday, we'll see widespread rain in the forecast as this system moves in. Now, in your Chapman heating and cooling eight-day forecast, let's talk about it all. Sunday, we'll approach that 50-degree mark. You know, the first half of the day, we'll work in a little sunshine. But by afternoon, we go mostly cloudy. And because of the clouds on Sunday, that's why Saturday is my pick of the week. Sunday night, that rain moves in and stays with us for much of the day on your Monday. Temperatures in the 40s for the start of next week. But by midweek, We'll have a cold front slide through, bringing rain and snow and much colder conditions as temperatures fall to the 30s on Wednesday. We're expecting high temperatures in the upper 20s next Friday.